We're halfway through the month of July, so I'm going to be taking a look at all of the latest Animal Crossing news that we've gotten in the past week or so. There are some really interesting pieces of news that I think you'll definitely want to know about. I've scoured the entire internet, so if you're excited for some Animal Crossing news, make sure to leave a like on the video, and let's jump right into the content. Now, for those of you who love LEGO Animal Crossing, you of course probably know that the two new sets will be releasing on August the 1st. However, a LEGO leaker has come out recently and confirmed that we will be seeing four more Animal Crossing sets in the first half of 2025. Now this is really exciting news, it shows that the collaboration is expanding even further and we're getting so many different Animal Crossing sets. I have to give my thanks to Faux Nendo over on Instagram for sharing this to me originally. LEGO leakers tend to be very reliable and I've seen a lot of leaks from this person before, their name is Xcabrix over on Instagram. And this is exactly how we first learned about the Animal Crossing and LEGO collaboration, so yeah, we can definitely expect to see these four sets in the first half of 2025. I honestly can't even imagine at this point exactly what these would be though. We are getting things like resident services in the airport in August, so maybe we'll finally get something like the museum, maybe we'll get the Able Sisters, I really don't know, it's kind of hard to imagine what they're going to do. I'd personally love to see a set of the Roost, I think that would be incredibly cool, and with the hype of it that Nintendo knew about with the 2.0 update, I could actually imagine them doing that, so hopefully that is something they'll decide to do. But let's be honest, a massive set of the museum is the one that everyone wants. I think if they decided to do that, that would probably get a lot of people to be interested in the collaboration, so hopefully that is the path they will go down. But we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully Bob will finally be a part of the collaboration and they'll do a figure of him. They've got her at this point, they've got to give us a figure of our favourite boy Bob. So yeah, I'll keep you up to date when Nintendo officially announce these themselves, but we'll just have to wait for that. Speaking of collaborations, as you all know, the Animal Crossing Aquarium Tour is going around the world currently, and it is in a bunch of different locations. So I wanted to give you the full rundown of all the locations it's in, in case you want to visit. Right now, you'll be able to visit the Ripley's Aquarium of Myrtle Beach, and also the Audubon Aquarium in America. So both of these are in America, if you're in the United States, you can go ahead and attend these. These are the two currently going on and you have until August 11th and September the 14th. So make sure you visit these if you're nearby and let me know what you think of it. I really want to go to one, but they still haven't done it in the UK. It's so painful. Now on to Europe. If you go to Blankenburg, this has just begun and will last until the 31st of August. So if you happen to be near this one, this will be a fun one to attend. Just to let you folks know, you'll get the same experience pretty much no matter which one you go to. Although I have heard that some are slightly better than others. I guess it depends on how much Nintendo and the aquarium were actually able to put in there themselves. Moving on, we have another one in Paris. This was the one that was first announced in Europe, which was really cool. And this is currently ongoing until August the 31st again. So a lot of these will be ending right at the end point of August. So definitely make sure you visit them before then. I'm sure they probably will repeat some of these in the future, that definitely wouldn't surprise me, but you honestly never know, so it's definitely worth trying to go. We have another one in Chevignon. This one is until, once again, August 31st. It does say September 1st here, but I think, honestly, that might actually be a bit of a typo. I don't think if you actually went there on September the 1st, it would still be there. I guess that's just the way they're describing it, but yeah, I think, to be safe, Definitely go there before August the 31st, because that's literally what all of the other ones say. And finally, the one that just started up very recently, only two days ago as of me making this video, is the one in Berlin, which I know a lot of people in Europe should be able to visit as it's pretty central. This one will be going until September the 8th, so you do have a bit longer for this one, obviously, because it started later. So if you have any time over the summer, then I definitely think it is worth going ahead and taking part. To my UK followers, I'll let you know if they decide to do one here. Again, I did reach out to them to see if they would, and they told me there's currently no plans, but I really hope they change their mind, because, come on, it's Animal Crossing. Now, really interestingly, over on Twitter a few days back, Nintendo posted this new promo for Animal Crossing New Horizons. They shared this on their official Nintendo of America account over on Twitter and also Instagram, which definitely came as a bit of a surprise. I think when people saw it immediately, they got a little bit of a shock thinking it could be something quite exciting. Now, unfortunately, this promo is literally just promoting summer in Animal Crossing. 
but the timing of it is definitely very odd. Nintendo hasn't posted about Animal Crossing over on their official account in ages. I think the last thing they posted about was the aquarium, so not really related to the game itself. So yeah, definitely a bit strange why they decided to do this. I guess they just want to try and sell more copies of New Horizons over the summer before, you know, we get the Switch 2 and stuff. That's probably why. But in case anyone did see this promo and was wondering if it meant anything bigger, sadly, it does not. Another reason why they might have done this is the fact that the Animal Crossing Switch Lite Edition is now currently on sale for its lowest price ever. I've seen this on sale in different places, but currently it is on sale in Walmart. So if you are in America, you can get this for its lowest price ever. It's I think like $159. So you get the console itself and you also get Animal Crossing New Horizons, which which honestly isn't a really bad deal if you happen to want an Animal Crossing Switch Lite. You know, maybe you haven't played Animal Crossing yet, which would be kind of surprising if you're watching this video. Or maybe you have a family member or friend who hasn't, something like that. So yeah, I just wanted to let you folks know in case you have been thinking about getting the Switch Lite edition. It is currently on sale in Walmart and presumably some other places too. Now, First of Figures has fully revealed their new Tom Nook figure, which you can see here. Recently they revealed the Isbell one which I've covered in a few videos but this is the brand new Tom Nook one and it honestly looks super cool. I really love these and again I love to see Animal Crossing collaborations like this in 2024. Despite the fact the game hasn't been updated for a while we're still seeing a lot of cool new Animal Crossing merch and goodies which I think is a lot of fun. And yeah this one honestly looks really great I love it. It is great to see Tom Nook get some love like this because honestly there was a period with Animal Crossing New Leaf where it was only Isabel really getting stuff like this, especially in Japan. There were a ton of figures of her and stuff but nothing for Tom Nook, so I'm glad he's seen a resurgence with Animal Crossing New Horizons because he is the original, you know, Tom Nook is the original and the greatest. So yeah, I think pre-orders are live for this now. You can check on their website and such if you do want to get your hands on it. it looks really cool, I just need them to do one of Bob. So whilst we wait for news about the next Animal Crossing game, presumably on the Switch 2 or whatever that ends up being called, Nintendo is definitely doing a lot and working with a lot of other companies on collaborations, which I find really cool. The LEGO collaboration is expanding massively even into 2025. We're getting these new figures. They're doing all of these museum tours and such. It's really great to see Animal Crossing be shown as such a big brand on Nintendo's part. Honestly, it's gotten more stuff lately than Mario has, which is insane to me. Let's just hope that translates into games real soon as well, because I think that's what we all want to see. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below, especially what you think those LEGO sets might end up being, I'd love to hear. If you made it to the end, comment Bob's Gang so I know you did. If you enjoyed, leave a like and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more.